so good morning everyone this is South Texas Picker so this morning I am going to start on a project I'm making a lamp it's going to be a UVC uh, lamp uh, that it's going to be made out of um, a old bird feeder that I found alongside the road uh, someone was throwing it away so I picked it up um, I started to take it apart and it's going to be pretty cool um, this is going to be the bottom but it needs to be cleaned up uh, this is the top and this is where the bulb is going to be hanging and I'll clean it up paint it uh, hook the light fixtures up to it put a UVC bulb in it and uh, I'll use that uh, on a timer to kill to sterilize a room it should kill bird, bed bugs um, dust mites mold any type of bacteria viruses uh, that's in the air it does produce uh, ozone uh, and the light will burn you uh, quickly um, it'll burn your eyes and it'll burn your skin so you cannot be in the room and after the lights on you need to uh, it needs to be off for a minimum of an hour to an hour and a half uh, before you enter the room because of the ozone but uh, you know a quick coat of paint clean it up a quick coat of paint uh, it'll be more than one coat of paint but uh, anyway I'll show you uh, the progress as I go along um, but quickly let me show you a little bit of my property here that pear tree is full of pears um, I have some nice oaks I'm on quite a bit of acreage here uh, that's my lake oh, it's kind of bright and I'm hoping that you guys can hear uh, some Bob Whites out here but it's not uh, they're not they're not calling each other right now. Uh, we do have a lot of mockingbirds. So sometimes you get confused with the mockingbirds or actually the bob white quails. But uh, anyways, uh, as soon as I turn on the camera, they quit. Uh, they quit making noise. So here, let me show you a little bit more of this stuff here. All right. So got some fruit trees out there, some crepe myrtles, uh, a lot of hummingbirds. You can. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But uh, anyways, I gotta, they eat me out of house and home, so I gotta, I go to about 10 pounds of sugar. There's one right there. All right, guys, I'll show you the progress on my, uh, there's a hummingbird one, you can see it. Uh, all right, I'll show you the progress on the lamp. I'm out of here for now. Okay, guys, so the uh, paint, on the UVC lamp. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make a couple of hanging lamps. So anyways, the paint is pretty much dried uh, from this morning. I'm in the shop now, uh, and uh, I'm gonna finish making this UVC light. UVC lamp, the paint, what I did is I used some leftover paint, uh, some black paint and then some red paint. And, uh, and I'm gonna use this old ceiling fan fixtures and I'll tie it into uh, I'll tie it into the cap here. So I'll mount it in there. I'll drill a couple of holes, uh, tie it together, and uh, I'll, I'll assemble it. So this was this was free, uh, and then I used some leftover paint, and uh, this was out of a uh, um, ceiling fan fixtures. It's really good to use a ceramic one because the UVC light is really, really hot. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the light will do to the paint. Uh, it might fade a little bit. Also got a couple, I got a bag of screws today from uh, from uh, Walmart. Paid a dollar for that. Uh, the drill uh, I got free in cleaning out our house. And uh, the wiring, I'm not sure if I want to use that wire or a kit. I do have a kit here. Um, a light fixture kit. I'm not sure if I want to use that or uh, just uh, some cord. Most likely these cords are, uh, I, I clip them from, um, from old vacuum cleaners and what have you. This cord I clip from uh, an old microwave and I put a, turn it into an extension cord with the, with the plug in. This same thing. This is from a vacuum cleaner. Um, I 
and uh, turn it into an extension cord. But uh, when you're making one of these lights, you really need a long cord because you want to set up the light and then um, plug it in a different room. You don't want to be in the room when this UVC light's going on, it's coming on, or while it's working. I'm also going to make a, a lamp out of this Woolly Bird ventilator. Uh, I mean, uh, attic vent ventilator. Jeez. Out of the of, out of the attic uh, or yeah the attic vent is a whirly bird. Um, it broke, uh, so uh, instead of throwing it out, I took the in, innards out of it and I'm gonna turn it into a a uh, I don't know if you can see it, but some, you know this style of hanging lamps. But that's a that's another project, and I'm using another old ceiling lamp, ceiling fan. Goodness, ceiling fan light fixtures. Uh, it's gonna go on the inside of this and inside of this and it's gonna hang. Um, all right, so uh, let me get drilling and uh, I'll, show the finish, I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so uh, I did put the, uh, I did wire this up with an old ceiling fan. Um, light fixtures and then uh, drill a couple of holes and then I put in, uh, the important part is uh, uh, that that little plastic grommet right there prevent the uh, metal to from cutting into uh, your wiring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on and twist it tight, and then it should be able to lift. So you can lift that. All right. So now you can see uh, see the bottom will come off too. So uh, this bottom plate here will come. This bottom plate right here will come out. But uh, there it is, that is a, uh, let me back it up so you can see it. So that's a light bulb uh, inside my lamp. So the, the, the UVC light will be a, a little bit longer, so I'll show you that in a few minutes. But uh, go ahead and plug it in. Boom, there it is, kind of bright, but uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Most of it was free. I think I got it for a dollar and some leftover paint that a friend of mine gave me. Uh, so now I'm gonna put in a UVC uh, light bulb. Okay, yeah, look at that. All right, uh, go ahead and unplug it and we'll put in a different light bulb. All right, it's pretty cool, right? All right, so I'm gonna get a different light bulb to put in it. Uh, All right, so here's the bulb I'm gonna put in. As you can see right there, uh, this is kind of dangerous, so I'm going down a little bit. That's what old people do, they make noises. All right, so this one. Okay, going there. Now remember, this is a UVC bulb. And Burn your retina when you. Uh... So I'll put this in. And I'm going to go put it in a dark room. And then I'll plug it in for you guys to see. Okay, so now you don't want any following. Good pause. Put that red button. Yeah. Okay, guys, the, the lamp is in a dark room with a, a chair that's full of mold, uh, and uh, my son's gonna plug it in. Go ahead. Boom, there it is. So the cage pretty much protects 
I'm not looking at it. I'm, uh, I'm on the side here. Uh, the only thing that's exposed is my arm. But uh, you see the glow of that light. And that light will start putting out, turn the, the oxygen molecules into ozone. And the light itself will start destroying uh, single cell organism pretty quick. Right, so I'm going to leave it on for a few minutes while I clean up and then I'll turn it off, but I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And the reason I put it in the cage is, you know, I can drop this into a, a crawl space um, uh, and, and leave it while I mow the yard uh, or something like that, you know, uh, at one of my rentals. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Alright, uh, with that, there's my light. Have a good one, guys.